Okay, again, stupid dark out at only like 5.15 in the afternoon, and guess what I gotta do? I gotta go pick up medicine for Mama because she is sick in bed with the flu. Prayers for Mama. And not looking forward to it because the last time I just went up to pick up my testing strips, the line at Albertsons was ridiculously long, and ugh, pharmacy, pharmacy lines, they're just... <sighs> But maybe I'll pick up something for dinner tonight. I don't know. Well, that was pretty much a bust because they didn't have mom's specific medicine that she needed. So I'll have to go back tomorrow and try and pick it up. So prayers for her that she starts to feel better and prayers for the rest of my family that we don't get sick in the process. I cannot afford to get the flu right now. Ugh. So I don't know who really keeps up with my vlogs or not, but you may or may have not noticed that there was not an upload yesterday. Yeah, I can explain a few things. So first off, nothing really happened yesterday. I wasn't like MIA for a specific reason. I wasn't sick or there wasn't an emergency. Um, literally just nothing happened. Went to work, came home from work and was super beyond exhausted. So got on with the boyfriend for like 15 minutes, if that, and basically crashed. I was so tired. It was not even funny. But also just, again, nothing happened. Um, if I'm going to do this vlog, I'm going to do it right. And I want you guys to have content. Like, I, I guess I could have always BS'd something together. I could have, like, thrown something together. But the, nothing funny happened at work. There wasn't anything, like, really big going on in my life, apart from, again, editing. Which, even that I didn't even do, because I was so exhausted and just passed out. So if I'm gonna upload, I'm gonna upload content. And not just, like, BS in front of a camera the whole time. Because I think, as an audience, you guys deserve something. If you're gonna subscribe, I'm gonna give you something. And besides that, even if I did put something together, I was tired and cranky. And when I, I wear my emotions on my sleeve, so it shows. And so, and that's, that's a concept that I have trouble with myself, is, is um, the concept of taking care of myself. I get so hard on myself, especially when it comes to this kind of project where, oh, you need to upload every day if you want viewers, if you, you do this, you need to do that, and like, no, no, I need to take a step back and breathe and allow my body to heal and sleep and eat and all that stuff. Yeah, this year I'm making it a point to actually start to take care of myself and not put myself in harm's way for a passion project because I, I have a hard time with that. On another note, I am gonna try from here until August when I'm getting married, I'm going to try to get my hair to grow. I love this haircut. It did a lot for me. It was really pretty for a while, but now I'm gonna see how long I can get it to grow until my wedding date. I went to the store and saw like what they had as far as like growing kits, if they had any, and I came across um, this stuff. It's called Grow Girl. This stuff is like a detox stuff and conditioner. Uh, this bottle and this bottle and also this brand comes with gummy vitamins that you're supposed to take twice a day. I'm bringing Shiny back. I like that they're teddy bears. But not a bad taste. I just, ah, really sticky. So yeah, let's just see how well my hair can, can grow in the next few months. But I'm curious, do any of you have any experiences with Grow Girl or trying to grow your hair out with anything? What do you do? What helps you? Or what do you think will help me? Let me know in the comments. Super hungry. Um, thought about getting something to eat at Albertsons, but realized that's a waste of money because I have the perfect cooking tool at home. Hey, Ted. Know what time it is? Not yet. It's griddle time. Okay, so I've never worked one of these before, but I had to pretty much wrestle the box to get it open. How hard could it be? I just realized I should probably make the pancake batter first. If 
For this recipe, you will need hot chocolate mix, maple syrup, flour, baking powder, milk, butter, eggs, vanilla extract, and whipped cream for serving. Apparently, I am now a cooking show. This thing also comes with a recipe for hot chocolate syrup, but we're gonna save that for a minute. Okay, so it says to whisk together the flour, hot chocolate mix, baking powder, and salt into a large bowl. Seriously, how is there even a spoon this small? Apparently three of these make half a cup. Barely. Then in another bowl, whisk together the milk, butter, eggs, and vanilla. I can never do the one-handed egg crack. Oh, hey, I did it. Then pour the egg milk mixture into the flour mixture and fold and combine. It's okay if there are some lumps. My lumps, my lumps, my lovely pancake lumps. My lumps, my lumps, my, oh, okay, that joke is dead. So I just now got this notice. For best results, do not use hot chocolate or cocoa mixes that contain powdered milk or other dairy products. Oops. I'm sure it's fine. That looks pretty good. Pretty good and whooshed. Let's give it a little drizzle taste test. Oh yeah. Only the best drizzle like that. Not bad. Not bad for a batter. And now for the griddle part. All right. You think right here on the stove? This is such a short cord. Ah, oh, we're cooking with something. Power maybe? I don't know. So the instructions said pancakes were about 350-ish? Ooh, power cord. Power light. How, how do I tell when it's at 350? Do I touch it? No, I don't touch it. Where's the instructions? Pancakes. Keep it on 350. Between 350 and 420. The instructions said to get some butter and just melty melty right here. Ooh, I feel that. That's really hot. Okay, I'm just gonna move you. Oh, I should move that towel, right? So it doesn't get burned. Ooh, I feel it. It's nice and warm. And just smooth it, I think. Ooh. Very nice. I wonder if you guys can even see it. Can you even see the griddle? How it's like... Ooh, don't splash it. Get it off. Get it off. Get it off. And I'm the world's worst baker doing a terrible job of melted butter. I should move this around. Do griddles spit? That's a dumb question. They, should, they probably spit. I guess we add in the pancakes and see how this works. Little pancake goes a long way. Don't last too long or you're gonna burn a pancake. You never wanna burn a pancake. Never, never burn a pancake. <laughs> ah! I always get so nervous. It's flipping time. Is it flipping time? Maybe it's flipping time. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. oh, was that flipping time or what? That was ridiculous. The pancake pieces. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. Mmm. Mmm, that's actually starting to smell like something. Right, I think I did it. Let's go again. Behold, the very first hot chocolate pancake in my kitchen. Let's do another one. Trying not to kill myself with the griddle. Oh, that was a successful flip! Oh yeah, oh yeah. Flipping pancakes, flipping pancakes. Hot chocolate, pancakes. What up? One more. Knowing me, I will probably only eat three. Let's make this one a big one. Nice and thick. 
Hey, when I like food, I dance. I don't know how successful this flip will be since it's really big. Oh, oh no, oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck and there's only one way to get out. Uh, uh, oh no, it's not ready. It's not ready. Ah! Ah! Oh, that was not a successful flip. Oh no. Oh no. Oh well. That was a fun flip. Mmm, that one smells really chocolatey. Can't wait to dig into that one. So now we're gonna make the syrup using the maple syrup and more hot cocoa mix. For the hot cocoa syrup, you basically whisk together the powder and the maple syrup until they come to a simmer. So I can't wait to see how this turns out. Finally, you top it all off with the best ingredient of all. Ha! Wow. Check that out. <laughs> that is awesome. Hot chocolate pancakes for the win. So I'd say my first test with the griddle was a success, but that all depends on how they taste. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Syrup is a little too gooey for me, but holy wowness, the pancakes themselves, really, really good. And apart from the actual texture of the syrup, it's a nice combo with the whipped cream and everything. It's really delicious. Guess I'm having dessert for dinner. Real quick, I wanted to give a big shout out to my boss who was seriously like the nicest boss I've ever had in my life. She called me into the office today and um, presented this lovely sparkly hat and these lovely sparkly gloves. And they were just lying around and she decided to give them to me. And like, she knows me. She knows that I dig sparkly stuff and I love um, this kind of stuff. So, but for real, she's like, so freaking nice. Um, this isn't like the only like awesome thing that she's done for me. She, when I was in a show like a few months back, she bought tickets for the entire staff to go see, which was so amazing. She has helped me out with um, finding an apartment. She got me hooked up with this um, freaking amazing landlord who's gonna help me land an apartment this coming March and April, March, March or April, blech, <laughs> not, not moving both days, but yeah, you don't, good bosses are hard to come by. I remember working for, working at Walmart, working retail for so long and it was exhausting because there were bosses that I was terrified of, bosses I was scared to go to, bosses that were just jerks who didn't give a crap about you. You were just a number. But no, she takes the time to actually talk to you and care about you and, you know, so I really appreciate that. So big, big shout out from me because I am an employee who really appreciates where I work and I love it. But that's all the time I got for today. If you do end up making these hot chocolate pancakes at home, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of them, because this was a lot of fun, and I enjoyed doing something a little out of the box. So, alright. I will see you later.